It's a little scary when you come outside and see your car coated in ice, which is likely happening to a lot of people. So I'm going to give you some hints. The first thing I want to tell you is what not to do. Do you see this water? This is see the steam coming off of that water. This is boiling water. You do not want to pour boiling hot water on your windshield. It'll crack the ice. So let's just get rid of this right there. Okay, so how do you get rid of the ice on your windshield? Well, obviously a scraper, but many of us don't have scrapers in our car. Go back inside if you're at home and get a plastic spatula or a wooden spatula and just scrape it. Or you can get inside the car, turn it on, put the defrost on and let it defrost itself. But what happens if you can't get inside the car? A lot of times the car door is frozen. The water gets in here and freezes up in ice crystals or the mechanism might be frozen. Well, full confession here, I had to look this one up because I, this had happened to me in a long time. You push it, you push your car gently in, then bring it out really gently, kind of wiggle it to get it loose. But if you still can't get it open, don't force it because you might break the mechanism here. Be really, really careful when you're driving. Obviously, the most important thing you can do is to stay safe, stay warm. That means stay inside. Or if you have to go outside, you can take some preventive measurements and just put a tarp over your car before you park it or do like I did in the parking lot here at Fox 26. I parked over underneath the canopy. Reporting for Fox 26 News, I'm Emily Aiken.